Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know, my name is Cindy Morales and basically on my channel what I do is college advice, hauls, vlogs, like I just do a lot of random videos and I really don't know what to look. I don't know if I should look like directly at the screen or the camera, whatever. So if you see me like looking at you and then like looking back up there, I'm sorry, I don't really know what to look at. But yeah. So basically, I do like a variety of things on my channel and I'm doing a story time today about the time I got cheated on in a dream. So yeah, I literally have it all typed out because this happened a couple of months ago, but I'm barely now doing the video as usual. So I might be, you might be seeing me like reading it off it and we're just going to be talking about the meaning behind the dream. And I'm going to be using another website for that, like why would you have these types of dreams and all of that. So enough rambling and let's get to the video. Alright, so basically in the dream I was in a very luxurious as a dorm setting. Like I'm talking this dream, like, but yeah, this dorm was like a 14 story dorm. Like it had a huge cafeteria, like a huge buffet and this was during the morning so we were having breakfast. And I was having breakfast with my friends, like some random friends. I don't know who they were, like they weren't my friends in real life. They were just like some celebrities for some reason. So we were just eating breakfast and all that. Next thing you know, some dude comes by and sits right next to me and just like starts flirting with me and like talk to me and asking me if I had a boyfriend. And I was just like, yeah, I have a boyfriend. Like, why are you talking to me? Like, I have a boyfriend. Like, get away. <laughs> And then next thing you know, like literally just a couple of seconds later, guess who calls me? My boyfriend. So my boyfriend calls me. He's just like on the phone, like pissed off. Like he sounds mad. I'm just like, okay. He's just like, where are you at? I'm just like, I'm in the cafeteria, like having breakfast with my friends. Like there's nothing going on. Like what's going on? Like you want to meet us? Like we're on the 14th floor. Like come over here, like have breakfast with us. Like. And he was just like, no, whatever, bye. And then he just hangs up. I was just like, why does he sound like all pissy and just like rude and shit? I was just like, okay. And then literally, this dude was still like, he was just sitting there the whole time. So then my boyfriend calls me again. And then he like answers the phone. And then I answer the phone. But yeah, like he calls again and he's just like, yeah, you're sitting with some fucking dude. Like he's flirting with you right beside you. You're not going to fucking do anything. Like he's flirting right there, right beside you. I was just like, in my head, I was just like, how does he know that this dude is right beside me? Like I told him where I was at, but he couldn't get here that fast enough. Like what the hell? Like does he have someone spying on me? Like what's going on? And then I was just like, okay, sure. There's some dude like sitting right next to me like it doesn't matter like I'm not talking to him like he won't catch the hint like he won't leave like I'm not doing anything you can ask my friends like I'm not doing shit so all of that shenanigans happens and next thing you know like literally okay just for you guys to know like we call each other goose in real life like you're my goose she's my goose like we call each other goose like the animal goose <laughs> So that's what we call each other and like literally a table right in front of us during the dream um this girl answers the phone call and then she's like goose like she like she says goose out loud and then she starts like looking around like all like looking around like if she's looking for someone and my friends know that he calls me goose that we call each other goose and they like all just start gasping like just like <gasps> like i was just like and then I hear that too. I'm just like, what are the chances that someone's gonna call like us? Like, what we call each other? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know? So then I was furious. I was just like, let me check this out. So I literally just go like sprinting to the, to the fucking girl and like take her phone. I take her phone. I was just like, who is this? Like, who are you? And then, like, I look at the fucking contact name, and it's his name with, like, emojis and hearts and all of this stuff. I was just like, are you serious? Like, you calling this chick goose for, like, getting on me because you think I'm cheating on you whenever you've been cheating on me this whole time? And I'm, like, looking through this girl phone and scrolling through her messages, and, like, he's calling her babe and all of that. I was just like, how are you going to get mad at me? Because you're like suspect I'm doing something. But this dude was just like sitting right next to me the whole time. Whenever you're actually cheating on me. I was just like. 
and next thing you know i was like we need to talk like i have proof like i have this girl's phone like your number is all over it like you've been texting her like i, I like i was going off and then next thing you know like as soon as i told her like we need to talk i have proof like the whole setting changes so we were in the dorm setting like the 14 story luxurious ass dorm and next thing you know we're in my parents house but it wasn't really my parents house but like you know how you, it's a dream and you just know it's your parents house well it was like that but it was three stories and i just knew that no one was inside of the house so i'm just like screaming at the top of my lungs like what the hell what's going on are you cheating on me and literally i woke up and it's as soon as i woke up i guess who's like in real life like guess who's coming through the door like guess yep it was my boyfriend so he was actually coming through the door like i was sleeping at his place so like i was there whenever i was actually dreaming all of this at his place and then he's like coming through the door and i was just like like i was like, obviously whenever you have those type of dreams like you get mad even though it's just a dream you get mad just a little bit and just like you cheated on me during a dream <laughs> and like we were just like talking about it and, like laughing about it and all of that but so, and if you guys are wondering why, like, he just came into the door of, in the morning, it's because he, in college, you have, like, specific places where you can park, but you have to buy a parking pass. And we have a green pass, red pass, and a gold pass, and he has a gold pass. Now, the parking lot that he parked at is a green pass, and you can park there between 5 p.m. to 7 a.m. So, after 7 a.m., you have to go move your car to where you're to your past color so he has to go he has to do that but he, he keeps his car 5 p.m to, uh 7 in the morning because like we do stuff like after class you should go out to get something or whatever so it's just easier than walking if you guys wanted to know but yeah so now you guys know about the dream or whatever now we're gonna kind of talk about what these dreams mean like what like if you're having a cheating dream if you're the one being cheated on like what they're about so i'm going to be using the website called dreammoods.com i can link it down below if you ever have a dream that you want to search about and yeah so we're going to be looking at the reasons why you can be cheated on in a dream and like what are the reasons behind it so being cheated on points to neglect so, a lack of attention from your mate may trigger a dream where your mate is having an affair. Since they are not paying attention to you, attention to you, then you start to think that their attention is focused on someone else. Perhaps your significant other is working long hours, or traveling more, or spending more time at the gym. All is innocent, but your dreamy mind manifests time spent away from you as an affair. So, being cheated on points to neglect. I don't really buy into this one, like, for me like me personally i don't because like literally in college we spent like every single waking hour together that probably is not healthy but we did we just literally always spent like we always saw each other after class like we always spent like literally as soon as we got to class from like two o'clock we're like we'll spend the night in each other's dorms or something like that like we'll just always be with each other so i never really felt like that with him so yeah but if you're watching this video and you're just watching probably like why you're having these dreams then like if that kind of fits for you then that can be right be why <laughs> so being cheated on points to fear of abandonment to dream that your mate spouse or significant other is cheating on you also indicates your fears of being abandoned you are concerned about the future and whether your significant other will be there for you perhaps you're waiting for a commitment from your significant other Often such dreams may occur because you were abandoned before by an ex, by a parent, or someone important in your life. So this one I can kind of buy into, like for me personally, because I feel like I used to have a best friend. Why I literally just got back into contact with her like just a couple of days ago, but during our senior year, like we literally didn't have any classes together at all, so we did not talk. Like we like really lost touch from each other, especially into um college like this whole year and if you hear me moving around this chair 
yeah I'm moving around in chair <laughs> but yeah so this year of college like we hardly talk like I literally just contacted her like a couple of days ago we've been hanging out ever since but like we've been friends for so long and then like completely just like cut ties from each other for no really for no real reason honestly we just kind of fell through apart and with me I can kind of feel like that could be like that could be a reason why this dream happened because um I don't know we like I have a thing of like people leaving me like it can even be like if someone's like spending a night for like a while like if it's like six days and then they leave I'm just like I get all sad and all of that so like that could be a really good reason why and yeah being cheated on points to low self-esteem when you feel unworthy, inadequate, or that you do not measure up to the expectations of others, you may dream that your lover is cheating on you. You have a low sense of self-worth and feel that there is no reason for your mate to stay with you. Consider who your significant other is cheating with you in the dream. Is this person someone who you think is better than you in some way? Are you handsomer? Are they handsomer? Prettier, thinner, richer, smarter, etc. So going with the last part of consider the person that... um they cheat on you with in the dream i don't remember who they cheated on me with in the dream um i don't think it was someone i knew that's them but you know how like, whenever they say like in dreams like in dreams like if you have a face like in your dream like you've seen it at least once in your lifetime but i don't know i don't remember that i don't remember who the person was but yeah, and the low self-esteem thing, I don't think, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had like really low self-esteem. I've had my moments here and there, but never really like just like feeling down on myself. So I don't think it's that. But if you're watching this video and you hear that, then you know. And being cheated on points to lack of trust. Trust is an important element in a relationship. If the trust is compromised, then you may express doubt in the relationship. One of these doubts can manifest itself as an adultery dream. Okay, with the lack of trusting. So that one I can buy into because I really have a problem with trusting people. I've gotten like backstabbed a lot of times during like friendships and all of that and just like kind of like talking to people like they'll be talking to someone else the whole time or something so I really have a problem with trusting people which is really bad but I do like it's hard for me to make new friends because I think they have another agenda like I think just trying to get something out of me or something and I know I'm not trying to like sound like oh like someone's trying to get something out of me like now but I don't know I just have that feeling a lot of the times so I kind of stay in my own little bubble I don't really make a new friend so just kind of bad I know people I know I know not all people are like that but I just I don't know I just don't trust people that much anymore so that could be a big ding 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 <laughs> for why I had that dream because I just don't it's really hard for me to get to trust people because everyone literally says trust me trust me trust me as soon as i bring my wall down and start to trust you something happens and gives me a reason to not trust you so yeah <laughs> and then the final reason and why you might be getting cheated on in a dream being cheated on points to actual cheating <laughs> it says in rare cases so you might still have hope in rare cases, your cheating dream may be actual cheating in your relationship. You may be overlooking cues or hints that your subconscious, subconsciousness, I have a really big problem saying that, is picking up to indicate that your significant other is not being completely faithful or truthful. Or perhaps you have been in denial about the infidelity. Ooh. So yeah, that's a no-brainer. If you're having a dream about someone is cheating on you, shit, they might actually be cheating on you. But for that, like, I know for sure that he's not. We've talked about it before. Like, just no real point of being in a relationship if you're just going to cheat on someone. So, and yeah, like, why deal with someone? Go through all of that shenanigans if you're cheating on them. It's not worth it. But yeah. So I would roll all that but if it's happening in your relationship like actual cheating then that can be why. 
so yeah all the reasons are neglect fear of abandonment low self-esteem lack of trust and actual cheating so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys like this video i really had fun filming this video because it's something new and it's kind of cool to film this type of video so i'll probably be doing more videos like this we'll see i'm kind of lazy writing down my dreams so that might happen i might not <laughs> but yeah so i hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe and that would mean so much to me and until next time bye at the NRG Arena and this is gonna be another vlog but we're at the Metallica